Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 horror film Neurus, or Neurus, also known as The Complex. Now this is a film that is directed by George Pede and it is written by George Pede and it's uh, Martinez who also stars in the film as Sarah and it also stars Dennis Mencia, Raul Walder and Sean Oman, uh, what's that? Armand. Right. Now then, this is a horror film that focuses on, like, this complex. There is a lady called Sarah who has travelled cross-country to see her childhood friend, Will, to spend some time with him um, at this complex out in the sun. However, almost immediately when she gets there, uh, there is this weird entity that is connected to the pool at this complex um, that has this weird connection to her but also likes to um, make other guests disappear at a regular uh, basis now there are some aware of this entity um, there are some that have witnessed strange things that have reported things to the police but nothing's ever been done about it nobody's really wanted to admit anything that they've seen anything Apart from Will's girlfriend, Lindsay, who at the beginning of the film you see, she's off to Greece. You think she's off to Greece for a work project or something, but she's actually going to Greece to try and figure out more about this, these strange occurrences that have been happening at the complex because she's uncovered some truths that she's going to investigate, hoping she can help. Why she chose not to tell anybody, especially her boyfriend about this, is best kept to herself, really. So you can imagine how that goes. Um, so this film is basically these group of people at this complex, only a small handful of them even though it's a big complex, trying to deal with this weird demonic spiritual badly special affected monster <laughs> that's um, haunting them and attacking them. Um, and there's a few red herrings thrown in, Who who who's connected to this? entity uh, all the rest of it and Sarah seems to have this weird connection to it um, but that's, that's all I want to say on the plot here I could go on, well I couldn't go on because it's a, such a stupid plot now I'm not really going to be very complimentary about this film because it just was bad in many many areas, this film it doesn't start off well because the the acting is not of the best quality so it takes you right out of the film um, some of them I would suggest English isn't their first language um, and it, it, it's hard to grasp the dialogue if you like um, and I'm not sure if it's because they're poor actors or they're just struggling with the script um, the soundtrack soundtrack of the film was awful it was like elevator music the effects were shockingly bad and do you remember the film The Abyss, the James Cameron film from 1989, I think, something like that? Remember that? Them effects in there that was first shown in The Abyss and then perfected for Terminator 2, you know, for the T-1000. Um, it Imagine those effects from The Abyss, especially, that, that tubular thing that was going after the, the people in, in the water. Imagine those effects, but being done by a child that's the kind of effects that we're dealing with here for the most part there's there's a couple of effective scenes effects wise but it really takes you out of the movie because you don't know what this entity is is it a demon is it some underwater creature is it a, some spiritual entity supernatural entity it, you never it never really feels to me that they nail down what is happening and that is bizarre because every other scene is full of someone giving exposition um, and convenient plot devices and searches on the internet and finding exactly what they're looking for within minutes it's one of those movies that drives you potty because it's not how things work in real life there's just so many plot holes everywhere where is everybody else in this complex it's a big complex there's probably a lot of people living there but yet we only see this small group of people that are affected by it well everybody will be sharing that pool especially in a sunny location like that surely other people know about this and have been affected by it no, we just get this small group of people who are dealing with this. The actors, it seems like they've just met. 
just before filming started and some of them were supposed to have known each other since childhood and they were childhood friends it was literally just like they'd just met um, and there's, there's, it splits off like when the girlfriend goes to Greece it kind of splits off at one point to follow her story in Greece which initially was infuriating to me because she was like doing these laptop you know face to face time calls with her boyfriend literally saying oh I might lose connection shortly um, because I'm heading up a mountain well don't phone when you're going up a mountain phone him before you go up the mountain to let him know what you're doing so lo and behold spooky things start happening and she loses connection drove me mad and her guide that was taking her to this monastery to try and do this investigating literally as they're walking into this monastery and they're hearing these spooky noises the guide kind of says to her oh apparently there's these there's these uh ghoulish monks here that protect this well don't you think that would have been information that would have been pertinent to tell her before you got to the monastery however there's a couple of interesting things in this film that's kind of save it because i was going to give it a two out of ten at one point in this film because it was driving me mad but the re that scene in Greece where she gets to the monastery almost becomes a found footage film and I thought that was the most effective part of the film there were some reasonably good scares in there I could feel the fear and terror and horror and that bit really really worked so when it when it moved into another area of horror that worked for me and another area of the film that I thought worked reasonably well was the red herrings uh, you give them many clues as to who might be um, linked to this creature um, and it kept you guessing to the end, it kept me guessing anyway I didn't figure out who it was even though it gave you many many clues as to who it might be so you had your thoughts but it didn't turn out to be the people that I thought it was going to be so I'm giving it a 4 out of 10 for those two extra things that impressed me slightly the found footage section and the fact that they kept me guessing till the end but other than that this is a terrible film um, that made no sense at all full of exposition full of uh, a really odd choice for like this horror creature thing that um, I don't know just didn't work for me and it kept breaking its own rules in the film and I don't know one of those odd ones really um, but I didn't take to it I have to be honest so it's a 4 out of 10 it's one to avoid I think um, so yeah Thank you very much for watching everybody and of course I will see you next time on Screen Stars.